The PlayStation 2, I have so many good fond memories about this system. I grew up basically with the PlayStation Fat model. But also in my previous video, I understand that a lot of people basically bought the Slim model and have been sold a lot. So these systems are pretty damn awesome if you ask me and still up to today a lot of fun to play. But did you know they made a PlayStation 2 television? So yeah, recently I finally found a PlayStation 2 television some, some weird strange way. We can find a lot of these televisions and the specification of the televisions itself is not that special. It's just an old school Sony Bravia LCD TV. But I think it's pretty damn awesome. I wanted to pick it up, show it here on the channel. So yeah guys, so let's take a close look at the PlayStation 2 TV today. How good and how bad is it? Hey hey, welcome back to the channel. It's awesome that you're tuning in. So in this video, I wanted to take a close look at the PlayStation 2 television. I don't know, let me know in the comments, did you ever seen it for sale in your country? Here in the Netherlands, somehow there are a lot of these bloody things for sale in different conditions. You need to think like the broken ones are around 250 freaking euro and they go up all up to 600 euro for one brand new box because yep, they are sell, sold brand new in box. So basically in the food itself, what you're going to get is the PlayStation 2. And when you're looking at the system, it's kind of bulky in some ways that we're going to talk about later. The condition of my model is not great because normally we're going to get this superb glossy finish. Yeah, and over the years this thing is fully scratched up. It also comes with a special remote that is specially made for this model. So don't think you're going to get yourself like a typical Sony television remote and just basically use that nope this is specially made for the television with all kinds of functions so the remote itself is basically like a three-in-one remote we have the option to power on the playstation 2 we have powering on the tv of course we can switch between the tv and playstation 2 but also it has the option for like navigating through a dvd simply because the playstation 2 is also a dvd player so here we're going to get just the typical stuff like volume control and programming but let's turn it on I don't know if it's typical from those television from Sony, but it has this special tune when booting up. The PlayStation 2 comes with a PlayStation 2 inside, but also it's just a television. So what we're going to get are different connections. Then we're going to get the old school antenna. Then we're going to get SCART or full or SCART for the old school consoles. We're going to get the Ethernet RG45 connection. At the top, we're going to get component. We're going to get VGA and HDMI in. And at the side, we're even going to get some extra ports like USB. But this USB is only for the television itself and two times HDMI in and the old school composite in. But the power cord cannot be removed like with the PlayStation 2. So at the right side, we're going to get ourselves all the function keys for navigating through the menu. So if you don't have a remote, you can do it over there. The model number is the KDL22PX300. And yep, this is a 22 inch monitor using 90 watts. But let's take a close look at the side. And this is what I mean with bulky. Look like bulky is basically the basis of this freaking television. It's kind of out of proportion if you ask me and yeah, this is what you're going to get with the device But there is no way of basically tilting the monitor. It's just stuck like that What I like about this monitor is that it has the option to basically use it like in television So if you want to play some other game systems, you can just use that like take consideration It is some old stuff. So this is not even full HD what I understand of this thing is HD ready so when a 22 inch monitor, but what I do like about it is that everything looks very vibrant and very colorful. And does this system run crisis? Yeah, if you hook up an old school retro game PC to it. <laughs> So in the next step, let's take a close look at the PlayStation functionality. We can basically switch between television PS2 over here. Here we're going to boot up the TV and here we're going to boot up the PlayStation 2. Back at the time, it was pretty cool. They can boot up the system with the remote itself. Well, let's do a quick overview of the television, how everything works. Because it's a PlayStation 2, let's say a PlayStation 2 Slim. But there are some different things to it that I wanted to show you. So first of all, okay, so when you're booting up, it's just going to be actually like the same, like your PlayStation 2 Fat or Slim. But what I do like about the base, then we're going to get the controller ports, the memory card, the USB ports, and of course, we're going to get all the other stuff that we're going to need. So let's plug in a PlayStation 2 controller. Let's get ourselves a memory card and let's see. 
Okay, so here at the right, we're going to get the open and the reset on off switch. So pressing the open, it opens up the compartment for the disc. And here we're going to get the option to reset. And if you're holding it, it's going to turn it off. Okay, so let's plug in a game. And let's show you how this works. So let's plug in the disc. Click it in. And just close the disc cover. That's it. And let's boot up the first game. Okay guys, so this thing runs on 480i, but it can also run on 576i, depending on what kind of settings you're running it on. So you need to take consideration, this is similar when you're going to get yourself in a component cable or using an HDMI dongle from China. In the end, it's going to receive the best quality for the PlayStation 2, and that is something what I really like about this system. The games look amazing, even on this old school 22 inch LCD panel. Making this video, I really enjoyed myself, I can say that. Simply because revisiting all of my old school favorite PlayStation 2 games is such a blast. They look amazing, they sound amazing, but there's one particular thing that bothers me. And it's the fact like the laser inside. These things are getting wore out in the end. But can we upgrade it in the naughty way? And what do we mean with naughty? Basically like unlocking your PlayStation system. In a previous video we talked about, for example, a USB drive that you can plug into your PlayStation 2 with the Mac 3 booth. And what you can do with this is like unlocking your system, put your games on a hard drive and just play them this way. So you can preserve your laser or if your laser already dead, you can play, you still can play your games on your original PlayStation 2. So that's pretty cool. But sadly, I was booting it up and somehow it doesn't boot up in the Mac 3 booth. And I'm just going to be honest, I don't know exactly why this is. I did do some Googling. But somehow it isn't compatible. I also have a different one. I got the Mac 3 boot specially made for Slim. And also have one I made myself back in today. None of those will boot up. And this means, in my opinion, OPL or the Mac 3 boot, the soft mod is not possible with the PlayStation 2 television. Even if I'm going to reboot it, putting in it memory card slot number two, nothing happens. Anything that's a big bummer, especially if you want to keep, preserve, and play some games on your PlayStation 2 television. Alright, so how about retro PlayStation 1 games? Yeah, so the PlayStation 2 is backward compatible and it also includes for the PlayStation 2. So yeah, these light guns, they don't work anymore because you need SCT and they don't work on an LCD because this is an LCD. But what we can do is pretty damn awesome. We can plug in the PlayStation 1 controller, plug in a game and PlayStation 1 game. In this video, we're just going to try my one of my favorite adventure games is Pyro the Dragon and we're going to play some PlayStation 1 and I'm curious how this will look. So then I think it's pretty damn cool. So basically you have a PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 system inside this freaking television. But the PlayStation 1 games like the PlayStation 2 look amazing on very nice higher resolutions. I don't know if it will be compatible with every game, but Spyro looks cool. Now when looking at the menu itself, I find it a quite fascinating piece of technology also when it comes to the old school menu. Yeah, there's still like the Sony touch to it, especially when you're looking into the other menu. Not this one, but this one. Here you can see like we're having the famous PlayStation, also with PlayStation 3, PlayStation Portable, the same kind of stylish menu where you can navigate through the input signals. 
Okay guys, so this is what we're going to get with the PlayStation 2 television. I always wanted to review this on my channel and finally I got one in the collection. Yeah, is this thing worth picking up for just casual gamers? I think not because this thing is way overpriced. Like there was somebody asking 250 euro for one that like there was a piece out of the cabinet itself. Like the, the screen, like crazy if you think about it. And this thing is completely scratched up. I was still quite expensive and new. Yeah five six hundred euros i think it's a lot of money for this it's more like a collectible item i really enjoy playing playstation 2 but take consideration if you just want to play some playstation get yourself like a cheap monitor you can use a cheap dongle with an hdmi monitor and you're going to get an amazing same result yeah i want to thank you for watching consider subscribing hit that little bell become one of the wicked family and we'll see you in the next video